Rare Deep Sea Squid Captured on Video for the First Time Virgin Hyperloop Conducts First Test with Human Passengers Universe is 10 times hotter than it was 10 billion years ago And SpaceX got official certification from NASA Welcome to the What The Facts channel This is Science News Summary Where we will cover the most interesting news about everything science related that happens during the last week Our topics range from medicine, neurology, and biology to physics, technology, and space. So if you've had enough negativity in the press and you're looking for some uplifting news, then this show is just for you. Let's get started. The Big Fin Squid is one of the most elusive creatures that we know. It dwells in the permanently dark depths of the ocean and is an extremely rare sight, with only around a dozen confirmed spottings worldwide. Now for the first time, Big Fin Squids have been seen off the coast of Australia not once, but five times and each sighting was a different individual. The big fin squid, or magna pinna, are known for their long arms and tentacles and can measure up to 7 meters in length, many times longer than the squid's body. Held out at an angle perpendicular to the body, the limbs also give it a strange elbowed appearance. Because they live in the bathypologic zone, between 1,000 and 4,000 meters, or 3,300 and 13,000 feet deep, it's not easy for scientists to study these squids. Luckily, these depths are no problem for remotely operated vehicles. It was just such equipment that marine scientists were using to explore deep waters off the southern coast of Australia. In a region known as the Great Australian Bight, where almost nothing was known about the deep sea fauna, scientists deployed remotely operated vehicles and a towed camera off the research vessel. Scientists took two voyages, the first in 2015, followed by a second in 2017. The cameras took constant video and a still photo was taken every five seconds. The researchers then reviewed the still photographs, and when they found that they had captured images of a big fin squid, they reviewed the corresponding footage for video of the delicate, flower-like creatures. Now their findings have been published in the journal PLUS ONE. It's the first time the squid has been spotted in Australian waters. The big fin squid sightings off the coast of Australia contribute invaluable knowledge to further our understanding of deep sea life. Virgin Hyperloop has, for the first time, tested the futuristic Hyperloop transportation system with human passengers. The Hyperloop is intended to carry passengers in small pods through a vacuum tube, with proponents arguing it could revolutionize high-speed travel. Virgin says the Hyperloop will be able to reach top speeds of 1,080 km an hour, that's 671 miles per hour, projecting a 45-minute journey from Los Angeles to San Francisco and will produce no carbon emissions. The company's chief technology officer and director of passenger experience made the 500-meter journey in a two-person vehicle in just 15 seconds at a test site in the Nevada desert. Once brought into regular use, the pods will be able to transport up to 28 people at a time, Virgin says, with larger models for moving goods also in development. Virgin Hyperloop was founded as Hyperloop Technologies in 2014, until Richard Branson joined the board of directors in 2017, and the company changed its name. It was also previously called Hyperloop One, Last month, the company announced that it would build a $500 million facility in West Virginia to test its super high-speed travel system. Virgin Hyperloop stems from Tesla CEO Elon Musk's concept of high-speed passenger pod transport, which he first proposed in 2013. Musk has gone on to create The Boring Company, which will dig tunnels for his proposed loop and hyperloop transit systems. For almost a century, astronomers have understood that the universe is in a state of expansion, since the 1990s, they have come to understand that as of 4 billion years ago, the rate of expansion has been speeding up. As this progresses, and the galaxy clusters and filaments of the universe move further apart, scientists theorize that the mean temperature of the universe will gradually decline. But according to new research led by Ohio State University, it appears that the universe is actually getting hotter as time goes on. After probing the thermal history of the universe over the last 10 billion years, the team concluded that the mean temperature of cosmic gas has increased more than 10 times and reached about 2.2 million degrees Celsius, or 4 million degrees Fahrenheit, today. To measure thermal changes over the past 10 billion years, scientists combined data from the ESA's Planck Infrared Astronomical Satellite and the Sloan Digital Sky Survey. From this, the research team was able to confirm that the mean temperature of gases in the early universe, about 4 billion years after the Big Bang, was lower than it is now. This is apparently due to the gravitational collapse of the cosmic structure over time, a trend which will continue and become more intense as the expansion of the universe continues to accelerate. 
Researchers added that the universe is warming because of the natural process of galaxy and structure formation and is unrelated to temperature changes here on Earth. The solar system may have once had an extra planet, an icy world that was kicked out of its orbit but whose presence led to the planetary orbits we see today. The planets were born out of a swirling disk of dust and gas that surrounded the young sun. With worlds forming from the accumulation of clumps of matter, it was thought that the orbits of the giant planets was once close-packed and circular, but gravitational interactions shifted them to the patterns we see today. This configuration is thought to be highly unusual, and experts have long sought to explain how it came to be. The team from the Carnegie Institution for Science suggests that Jupiter and Saturn began with eccentric or oval-shaped orbits, and different orbital durations than previously thought. The researchers also conclude that the orbits of the ice giant planets, Uranus and Neptune, were influenced by the gravitational pull of a mysterious missing planet, an ice giant that once lay between Saturn and Uranus. In their study, Dr. Clement and his colleagues conducted 6,000 different simulations of the evolution of the solar system. These included the gravitational influence of the Kuiper Belt, the donut-shaped ring of icy objects, including Pluto and other dwarf planets and planetoids, as well as the impact of another ice world that was kicked out of its orbit. And here is the last piece of news for this week. NASA has officially approved the SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule and Falcon 9 rocket for regular astronaut flights to and from the International Space Station. The agency has signed the Human Rating Certification Plan for SpaceX's Crew Transportation System, making it the first spacecraft NASA has certified for manned missions since the Space Shuttle nearly 40 years ago. Several critical events paved the way for this achievement, including ground tests, simulations, uncrewed flight tests, and NASA's SpaceX Demo-2 test flight with astronauts Robert Behnken and Douglas Hurley earlier this year. Prior to Demo-2, NASA and SpaceX completed several demonstration flights to prove the system was ready to fly astronauts. Dozens of tests of the spacecraft's parachute system were successfully completed, which began in 2016 and ended this year. Several key events have occurred since 2018, including the completion of electromagnetic interference chamber testing on Crew Dragon at the SpaceX factory in Hawthorne, California and acoustic chamber testing on the spacecraft at NASA's facility at Glenn Research Center in Ohio. Hundreds of tests have been performed on the spacecraft's eight Super Draco abort engines, which would provide astronauts an escape from the rocket in the unlikely event of an emergency at liftoff. NASA and SpaceX also coordinated with the U.S. Air Force and the Department of Defense to conduct crew rescue training. The DoD Human Space Flight Support Office Rescue Division is prepared to deploy at a moment's notice to quickly and safely rescue astronauts in the unlikely event of an emergency during ascents or splashdown. This certification milestone is an incredible achievement from NASA and SpaceX that highlights the progress we can make working together with commercial industry, added NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you enjoyed hearing some positive news. If you did and you want to support this channel, please share this video with your friends or consider hitting the subscribe button. This is Alex, the voice of the What The Fact channel. That's all for today's episode, so stay curious and see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.